Isn't it a gorgeous place though? It's so beautiful. Look at them there. Two more rounds. Yeah. I thought you were catching a shark today. Okay, no. I'm a shark day too. So there's a barracuda. Ah, okay. Oh, barracuda? How about the whale? No, we don't catch whale. We catch mm -hmm. barracuda and shark. Yay! We got it! <laughs> Got it? Yeah. It's a catfish. It's a catfish? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's day two. Of the fish hunt. <laughs> yeah, I so said if I could catch some sharks, you know, we, some barracuda. We caught a catfish yesterday, but you know, one catfish, we want to invite some friends home for dinner tonight, so we need more. So we're gonna be here for an hour or two, and then we'll show you how we cook our fish. So, it's been two hours and a half. We changed spots. <laughs> two times. No fish today. Fishermen disappointed. <laughs> Doing, babe. Let's section out this catfish. Uh oh, that's the part that I don't really like. But you have to do what you have to do. Poor little fish. Can you let me get scissors? Okay, guys. So we're back in the kitchen ready to cook our catfish. We decided to deep fry it. You're gonna need oil, flour, of course, your fish. We also need a little bit of jerk seasoning, pepper, salt. This, this jerk seasoning, if you look closer, it's good for fish, seafood, meat, chicken. It's really an all-purpose uh, seasoning. We're gonna clean our fish with vinegar. We decided to accompany our catfish today with a nice Kosla. I have some leftover uh, green cabbage and red cabbage from another recipe that we did lately and I've thrown in uh, a grated carrot. For the coleslaw you will need Dijon mustard, honey, mayonnaise and then we're also going to make a nice tartar sauce. For that tartar sauce you will need capers, dill pickles, Dijon and mayonnaise and lemon. Yeah, I'm on, so I'm gonna wash my fish with my lemon. Get away that fishy smell. But it doesn't really feel that it smells fishy. No, it's clean. Nice. Yeah. Catfish is a very mild fish. Vinegar. It's very soft, it doesn't really have a strong taste. Teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon 
of salt, one spoon of jerk spice, give this a mix. some salt to your fish, some black pepper, and a little jerk spice. Take your fish, dip it on the floor. Shake off the excess flour. Okay guys, so for your torta sauce, you need to dice your pico. So you want small dice, like this. And you can use any type of pickle, you could use sweet pickles, but my favorites, I guess our favorites, are the dill pickle with fish. Dill with fish is like a must, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So okay guys, so I'm gonna put two spoon of mayo, one spoon of dijon, Of, of lemon juice and then give this a mix Alright guys, so last step for your coleslaw dressing, two spoons of mayo. Half a spoon of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard tastes very strong, don't put too much. So this is enough. Rice vinegar. I'm a real fan of rice vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, but I, f I think that rice vinegar goes so well with any type of salad. So this is what I chose today. And I want one spoon of that. And the last ingredient for your coleslaw dressing is one spoon of honey. You give that a mix. You drop that in. You give that a nice mix. I think that for us, this is perfect. I don't like a lot of sauce. No. All right. So there you have it, guys. Fried catfish. 
homemade tartar sauce and your delicious coleslaw mm, and it smells so good so we did it from the lake to your plate as usual if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up like comment share and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you see you guys in the club <laughs> peace